Hello and welcome to the fabulous Yas Marina circuits here in Abu Dhabi. The location for this year's Young Driver Test. Over the next two days, we'll go behind the scenes as we watch the teams put the next generation of potential Formula One drivers through a series of tests to uncover the next superstar. Ask any of the team principals whether outright speed is the sole requirement and they'll tell you that consistency, feedback and attitude are equally important. Still a few record times wouldn't hurt a driver's chances of securing a seat for next season. And right on cue, the first engine of the day has fired into life right below my commentary box. So I think we'll soon see a car on track. Hey, good to see you again. As your race engineer, it's my job to support you this weekend. When you're out on track, we'll remain in contact via radio. I'll feed you information as and when you need it. As discussed in the team briefing, we're not looking for outright speed to begin with, so just take your time. Follow my instructions and you'll do great. I'll just check the lads are ready. We'll attach comms when you're in the car. OK, let's get you strapped in. OK, let's run through the basic controls and ensure the guys have set the car correctly so that you're comfortable. First, let's check that the accelerator and brake pedals are a good fit. Great. Let's check the steering lock next. Move the wheel from left to right for me. Next up are the gears. The box is either manual or automatic, but you can override the auto at any time by using the gear up and down controls. Pull the right paddle to go up a gear and the left paddle to come down. OK, everything looks good. We're going to do a simple straight line aero run first. Let me know when you're ready to head out. All set. OK, before we start, I want to let you know that you can change the camera position by pressing the Change Camera button. Try cycling through them until you find the one you like. If you want to change your camera or assists, you can do it from the Pause menu whenever you want. The first test is a simple straight-line aero test. Head down the track, accelerating past 160 miles per hour, then brake, so that you come to a complete stop in the designated area. The engine is locked to lean, so it's down a little on power at the moment, but it'll give us a consistent reading. Modern Formula One cars have around 750 brake horsepower being sent to the rear wheels. The delivery can be very violent, so you must be careful to be smooth and precise with all your inputs so that you don't unsettle the car and cause a spin. At speed, the car's aerodynamics generate a lot of downforce, forcing the car to the track. To work efficiently with downforce, you should put a lot of force into the brake pedal initially, slowly reducing the pressure as they turn in for the corner, as you'll have less grip at this stage and be asking the tyres to work harder. When navigating a corner, stay as wide as possible before sweeping in to clip the corner's apex, taking as straight a line as possible. This allows you to get on the accelerator earlier and straighten up the car on the exit of the corner, slowly increasing the pressure on the accelerator as you exit the corner 
until you're confident the rear wheels will no longer spin, at which point you can use full power. Complete. Ready. For this test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin corner, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex, and accelerate past 185 miles per hour out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. Which of our rivals can bring home an early advantage? It's race time. First race of the season. Let's see if we can get a good result against our rivals today.
engine, they should let you through. 